when he made that song, the impact was crazy, bro, because it was like, first I felt like it was crazy because sometimes when you give a whole, he gave his hat, his side the voice. Like when Chief Keef and Dirk and them started doing they one too, it, 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 we kind of left the ops in the dust. I ain't even going to lie. Like they, they, they was getting left behind. They ain't have the money or the manpower to really bump with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause once folding them, like we was already fucking them up, bro. Like once money came into play, it was like sayonara for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all ass ain't finna get nothing out this shit. Like nothing. Um, so you mentioned, bro, um, that your father's a GD. Mm -hmm. How did you become a BD? And did that create like any type of rift or conflict? Like is is, is your is your family like mixed? Is it GDs and BDs or? Um, it's a lot more BDs than my family since I came and became BD because you know I kind of set the trend. Even though I do got a cousin, ABE, he was BD, and you know his hood where he grew up in the hundreds, they was BD. So he like he like three, two years older than me, so he was already BD. You know I'm saying from his hood, but he wasn't as flamboyant as me. Like you know the BDs from my area, bro, we just bleed that shit like. Every five seconds, it's on BD on King. Like, you gonna know a BD from my end, bro. It's not, you're not gonna leave the interview not knowing what he is. I was, promise you. He gonna merch it on all his dead homies 80 times. Like, we just flamboyantly, rambunctiously BD. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, when when I became BD, I was putting it in my family face. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we was into a GD. So, I was GDK as hell. I used to be making them mad. Like, my daddy, he was in the fed. So, it's like, I... I never, I could never really talk to him directly about this shit. I wouldn't do it with my father anyway. On some funny shit, I do it on some funny. Like I do it on some funny shit now. You feel me? But I never disrespect my dad like that. But um, ain't create no issues though. You say with your pops. Uh, nah, it, it created issues not with my pops, but like with with people who wanted me to be GD in my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause you gotta understand, in my area. And in, in my era, we creating a lot of GDK type of, you know, um, content. Uh, content, you know what I'm saying? And GD's not uh, citywide hearing that shit, and they just ain't like, oh, he talking to his ops. Like, no, nah, they, 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 they yeah, felt like we yeah, was saying, yeah. fuck all you niggas, you know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of people in my family who really ain't listen to Keith, who really ain't listen to Dirk, Reese, Fredo, none of them niggas. Like, ain't like none they was putting out, ain't fuck with none they had going on. Cause they used to feel like nigga y'all be dissing the GDs too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when they found out like I was a BD and they found out I was from where these niggas from who do all that, they like, oh hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. And they thought it was to a point where they can like get me back. Or get well not back, but get me they right, basically, where they could get make me GD, but that shit was over with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit was definitely over with. You know what I'm saying? I had cousins and shit. I wasn't even going to a family reunion. We had family reunions every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. I wasn't even Going to that shit because I ain't want to be around their ass too much on front of them because they used to be trying to flip me and shit like that. For real. Yeah. Did you ever get the boxing with any of them? Yeah, yeah. For real, for real? Yeah. Yeah, one of my cousins, bro. Like, because at one point in time, they really felt like shit, we was really on that. And I'm like, me, bro, I'm not all that explaining myself. I'm going to drop the rakes in my cousin's face. I swear to God. Like, I used to be on some shit like, what? Oh, it's tripping. Yeah, because, you know, I'm a young turn nigga. Y'all don't be woofing at me, man. I'm phoning them. You was woofing at me. And then I used to feel like some people used to be trying because my daddy was booked. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, some of my cousins, like my older cousins that was like, like seven, eight years older than me, mm -hmm. they used to be trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some shit like, so, yo, we'll fuck your little ass up. I'm going to blow one of y'all shit up. I used to be on some shit like that because I can't fight y'all. Y'all y'all 20s. I'm 15. Y'all mad at me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Was you joking or was you serious? As far as like on some GDK shit or popping them? Yeah, popping them. I mean, if they'd have fucked me up, I was going to pop them here. Yeah. I wasn't going to let no grown men put their hands on me. I ain't never played that game. I ain't going to lie. Like, cousins and all. I respect you niggas. Like, like I've always been a nigga like, bro, I ain't never been GDK for my family. Like, I ain't never. As much as I play with them, as much. I'm a family nigga, bro. Like, I, I, even back then, one of my cousins could have called me and said, one of my BD homies fucked them up or took something with them and I would have went and picked up folks and we would have fucked my homie up. Like, I'm a family nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, even though for them GDK and I'm GDK, I, I expect at least my family to know, like, 
I ain't talking to us. He love us. But they used to be taking that shit to the heart sometimes. I used to be liking that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No, for sure. What you, what you saying, the whole GDK brace, so you was around when, uh, and did you know, like, Lil JoJo? And can you, do you remember, like, how that happened with the whole BDK when he put that song out back then? I know it was, like, short lived. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, did you ever, like, have any interactions with him or encounters with him? Lil um, JoJo? I used to have encounters with, like, his brother. Or him Swag De Niro Yeah like we used to Like Fodum used to be on the net Wolfing a lot Jojo was a Real big Twitter Tweaker You know what I'm saying He was big on that type of shit You know what I'm saying So it used to be like A lot of that going on A lot of him and Reese Back and forth A lot of him and Such and such Back and forth You know what I'm saying So like When he made that song The impact was crazy bro Because it was like First I felt like It was crazy because Sometimes when you give a whole, he gave his hat, his side the voice. Like when Chief Keef and Dirk and them started doing they one too, it, 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 we kind of left the ops in the dust. I ain't even gonna lie. Like they, they, they was getting left behind. They ain't have the money or the manpower to really bump with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause once folding them, like we was already fucking them up broke. Like once money came into play, it was like sayonara for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all ass ain't finna get nothing out this shit, like nothing. And, and to a certain extent, it's still like that. Like, they still struggling to get in because of how folks them them made it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Folks them got in that dough first, and now they get to control the narrative. So you ain't gonna get in the dough, for real, for real, at least, unless folks them want you in. Because there's too many niggas with power that fuck with them already. They ain't gonna come in. Like, why you think Meek Mill, you think these niggas ain't never heard of folks them from the other side? And like they music, but they ain't gonna sign them. You ain't finna catch none of the ops being a chaser. They not finna be uh, Maybach music. They not finna be uh, faux PF. None of that. Only thing they could probably be is is NBA 4K Trey. And you know why they could probably be that. Because folks don't. He, he get into it with our homies. You know what I'm saying? So, other than that, them niggas can't get in. So, like, um, with JoJo, like, he was kind of like kicking that door down. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was kicking it down to a point where when he made that BDK shit, like, you know, the like I told you, the GDs needed a voice. Mm -hmm. They got tired of the, even the ones that we weren't talking to felt like mm -hmm. we was talking to them. And when he came out, he basically was speaking for all the, the ones who've been ready to speak against us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when he came out with that BDK, all the GDs that felt disrespected by us and all the GDs that was getting disrespected by us, Mm -hmm. They flocked behind him, whether they knew him, mm -hmm. whether they was from his area or not. Like, he was touching GD souls from all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas just wanted to have somebody or rock with somebody who they felt like was speaking for them. So, JoJo, when he started doing his thing, mm -hmm. he he was on some real, ah, right, you niggas all BD, I'm BDK. You know what I'm saying? And that was a thing we weren't used to. Because that, that set off all our antennas, too. Like, a lot of us didn't know him until that BDK shit. I tell niggas all the time. Brisk Squad is not by most of the hoods. That's BD. Yes. 